Hey guys, I'm Dom Noltron. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the Harper missions as quickly and as easily as possible. In other words, I'm pretty much going to help you guys rank up and get as many of these tokens without wasting too much time or without struggling too much. Now, some of you might know when you get to the center and do a couple missions, you'll be able to do some of these missions, the Harper missions. And if you do enough of these challenges and whatnot, you'll get tokens and you'll, you'll be able to buy things from him. Some of these are very useful, some of these can be found in other places a lot easier, but overall I think he's pretty useful. Uh, I first want to say if you're on PS4 or Xbox, there's a trick you can do where you skip a week, like you go to your settings and you skip the time for a week and this will reset the challenges. I'm not sure if it works on PC, but if it does, let me know in the comments. But yeah, if you do these challenges and you finish them, just fast forward a week in your settings and you'll be able to do them again instantly. Which is why we're going to be doing some of these challenges and leaving some in the dust because they're just a waste of time. Now starting off with the first challenge, this isn't really the first one that you can find easily, but it's the one I'm doing right now. You need to kill three howlers and you can do this easily by just going down right in front of the canteen and you'll be able to kill them instantly. Just go around this area and you'll find three of them without any issues. This is probably the easiest one or the fastest one you can do. Actually, pretty much both. They're all like right here, so you won't have any issues with this challenge. Now up next we have the kill three goons challenge. This one's pretty simple. If you follow the route that I'm taking, I can find three easily, but the specific route requires you to do the Carnage Hall side mission where you help a guy get his posters. If you help him, this one will spawn here, but if you don't, it won't. Now, not this one right here, but the other one that I'll show you. I think the side mission gives you one extra one. Not this one, the second one. This one that's all green. Not quite sure, but either way, this one's very easy. And if you can find this one, there's also another one by the armored trucks or the tanks, whatever they're called. So yeah, I think this is the second easiest one of the bunch. Now a few of these that you shouldn't do, I'd recommend not doing the suiciders or the bolters because there's not really a quick way to do them and they're just a waste of time. I'll leave a list of the ones that you shouldn't do at the end of the video. Now up next is the weekly bounty. This is the one where you have to kill a volatile tyrant or an alpha volatile, whatever you want to call them. And there's two ways you can do this one. One is doing the elite harper mission, which guarantees you one, but that costs you mutation samples to do. Or the second way, which is my favorite, is to go to Carnage Hall and do a challenge there. Now, while doing that, you can also do another bounty, which is killing two demolishers. And you can do two of these bounties all at once. Now, for those of you who don't know, in Carnage Hall, there's this cage filled with some infected and, most importantly, some demolishers. This is a convenient way for you to do the demolishers bounty where you kill, I think it was three demolishers or two. Pretty sure it was two. And then at Carnage Hall, you can also kill the three volatile tyrants by repeating one mission three times. And the mission I'm talking about is called Phantom of the Opera. If you do it once, you'll unlock it and then be able to repeat it as many times as you want. And some tips I can give you for doing this is to first of all do it on easy because it doesn't matter what difficulty you do it on, it'll count either way. And another thing is to, if you have legend points, Use them on the particular weapon that you're using, which is a one-handed bladed axe. It'll make doing the challenge a whole lot easier and faster. Do this challenge three times and that'll be it. You'll be done with the bounty and you'll get that one token. Now the first weekly challenge is finding mutation samples. The mutation sample bounty and the volatile tyrant bounty are the only ones you should do. I would not recommend doing the hive one because that's all based on luck and it's just a big waste of time. Now, if you've gotten to the point where you're getting legend points, then I'd really hope you saved up these boxes or these chests because these chests can give you between maybe 300 to almost a thousand mutation samples per box. Now, it's not guaranteed, but if you save these up, you can pretty much get through this bounty in no time. Now, this next bounty is the spitter bounty. You have to kill a couple spitters. For the most part, this would be difficult, but I do know a spot where you can get a bunch of spitters to spawn. And this is by doing a GRE anomaly. Now if you have the saw blade, doing the anomaly is easy. And if you have a grappling hook, it's a lot easier to do the spitters. Now as far as I know, this is the 
one spot that I know of that gives you a huge amount of spitters. There's probably another one under a bridge, but I don't really have footage of that one and I'm not quite sure. So the safe bet is to go to this one. And if you see what I'm doing on screen, you can kill these spitters easily. It's no problem. And that'll be it for the bounty. Now to sum up the video, I got these 11, maybe 12 bounties. And I'm going to say which ones you should do and which ones you should just skip and never try. So Howlers, I've shown you guys, this one's the super easy one. Won't waste any time. Absolutely do it. Yes. Volatiles. If you have the saw blade, then yes, I'd recommend you do it. Go out into the night, throw a couple, and you'll get this done easily. Mutation samples. If you've got the boxes or the chests, absolutely do them. You'll get that done quickly. Rare crystals. The, this one used to be very easy, but it's not anymore. So no, absolutely not. Bolters. It's all luck based. You can't really do that. So don't even bother. Harper's regular mission. I mean, it's pretty easy if you got good gear, but also not really worth all the time. So no. Banshees. Not very easy to spot, not very easy to find. So I'm going to say no. Demolishers. I've Showing you guys how to do this one easily, so absolutely, yes. Spitters, once again, same thing, absolutely. Goons, this one's quite easy if you've done the Carnage Hall mission. But even if you haven't done it, it's still pretty easy. You can find goons pretty much everywhere. The Bottle Tyrant, I've shown you guys if you've done Carnage Hall. Yes, if not, then I wouldn't do it. So yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. And leave a comment to let me know what else you guys want to see. And if you find yourself coming back, please do subscribe. It helps me grow and helps me make more of these videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.